mis kill man shkia hende. <laughs> Na ma, ma an artist uh, from Angola. I live and work in Luanda. The fact that I'm from Luanda has been always like a big influence in my work. Talking about Angolan history, is talking about Brazil, is talking about America, is talking about Europe. For me, that's what the important thing is to make the distance shorter and to improve the communication. I grew up in a moment where it was very chaotic. It was just after the independence. That informed me a lot because I also come from a family that was connected with was related to the struggle against the colonization. I remember like my father and their friends arguing about politics, screaming and yelling at each other because they were aware that uh, every political decision at that time could mean the life of a lot of people. In Luanda, everyone when they are telling a story, you have to apply humor in it if you want to have people's attention, you know? Humor is a way to put the finger on the wound. It's a delicate way to deal with traumatic experiences. For me, as an artist, I have to go through all this traumatic process that the country has lived. Because uh, there's a big risk of living without having access to your own history, without knowing what really happened in the past. In Luanda, there is a fort, and in this fort, there was some of the monuments that were taken down during the independence time. It was like this history being like played again, you know, through those statues. I thought like if there is the monuments, the plains must be somewhere. Those pedestals for me was like a metaphor of this lack of reflection about history. I decided to invite some friends of mine. I asked them to become like these live monuments on the top of those pedestals. It was kind of very strong to see like Schunas Fiel, the poet and fashion designer in the pedestal where the first king of Portugal was. One day I was giving a ride to one of my friends and I was really amazed when we stopped like, to, uh, to have a beer and suddenly appears that group of travestis. They were about eight or ten and, and you know, and they were like doing the party, rocking the place. So I met Poderosa and I decided to invite her like to do this project. What I really wanted to create was a trap for people that has these narrow ideas about Africa. So we use some elements from these ethnical groups, but we use high heels, shoes, just to create this disruption there, like. And it was very funny, like, to see people go inside the exhibition room and look into this picture and see, whoa, th this is our tradition, you know, like, <laughs> this is a deep Angola, this is our roots. And at the same time, when they look at better, when they have this second look, they say, oh, well, it's not even a woman. It's not traditional because of high heel shoes. Sometimes it took a while for people to, to see it because sometimes it gets so blind by prejudice. I lived around five, six months in Venice for an artist residency. There was this big crisis happening because of the immigrants coming from Africa. And in the case of Italy, they would say like, yeah, we're not used to Africans. We don't have a common history. We don't know what these people is doing here. But it was funny at the same time to discover that Venice was built by African slaves, what they called the Black Moors. I bought some little sculptures like from classical European art. I thought it would also make sense to cover those little statues with condoms. The condoms, they are supposed to protect you from the external agent. But it has a double meaning too. You also don't procreate. That's the thing what happens when we close ourselves, when you become like a fort. There's only one way of you to grow up. 
the way is to be in connection with other cultures. The idea of acceptance is about searching for dignity and love. I'm always challenging myself to to find like new forms, medias to express myself. I found like in the visual arts the way that all these medias could could live together. So nothing was lost, everything was transformed. That's what I love about being a conceptual artist.